Hi everyone, it's Lynn from Contenta Crafts. Welcome to my channel and thanks for joining me. What I'd like to show you today is how to make this lovely shadow box card. They are really lovely to make and I've made this as a birthday card but they can be made for lots of different occasions. A couple of ideas would be as a thank you card or a new home card. It will fit nicely into an envelope box or it does fold flat so you can pop it into a normal sized envelope. So let me show you how I've made it and what we will need uh, first of all to get started. You will need two pieces of card that will measure 8 by 8 inches. I've chosen two different colours. You could use two of the same colour if you wish. So what we need to do is with our 8 by 8 piece of card, we need to measure firstly at half an inch and then again at one inch. I'm using the white one as the back piece and the green for the front. Now I then tend to go at seven inches and again at seven and a half Oops, inches. Oops. If you prefer you could turn your card around and do the same measure at half an inch and then uh, one inch. So that's the back piece scored. Next we need to measure the front and again we need to measure at half an inch half an inch and then one inch and again I just tend to go to seven inches and seven and a half. Okay, oops. And that's our scoring finish. So next what we are going to do is uh, cut our oval out. And today I am using um, these set of uh, nesting dies and they are large ovals and I bought mine from the craft stash um, they're just a craft essentials creative dies and I'm using the second largest one um, and that measures roughly have a look, um, About five and a quarter inches by three and a half. And you just need to pop that into the middle of your card and the middle of the scored lines and cut it out. As it happens, I've already done mine earlier. So um, next what we are going to do is fold and burnish the lines on the card. So what we need to do, so starting with the line that is nearest to the oval, we need to fold it back over like that oops and then with this piece here we need to come forward so you have a mountain and valley fold and you do the same on the other side the one that is nearest the oval we go over and this one comes out the way all right so again 
you should have your mountain and valley forward. So that's your front piece. And then with the back piece, we need to go the opposite way. So starting with the one that is furthest away, we go over like so. And then with this one here, we come in and create again a mountain and valley fold. All right, like so, mountain and valley. And again, on this one, we need to go out and back in. Oops, sorry. No, we need to come in, sorry, in the way and then out. And that is our folding done. So for now, we have finished with the pieces of card. So now to our stamping. I'm just using a clear embossing powder and I'm just stamp stamping it out onto the vellum. I will show you one and then we will get the rest of them done off camera. Just give it a nice press to make sure that you've got your image onto the vellum nicely. It is quite difficult to see but I can see it there and then I am just going to pop my white embossing powder. I'm using the Honeydew Crafts um, white white embossing powder and I'm just going to Heat this up with my heat tool and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so next um, it's just a case of putting the card together, but I'll just show you before we do that. Um, I made the flowers off camera there and I just layered them up. I did two on white card and one on green and embossed it with the white white embossing powder and I also did the green ones onto vellum and did the white embossing powder again and popped a little gem in the middle and I did three of those and the happy birthday all I've done there is um, sort of offset the white onto the green just to make it like a shadow uh, style happy birthday. Okay, so we'll just bring in our back piece now. And what we need to do is basically pop this like so, just to give us a bit of an idea. Now, I don't tend to stick mine down um at the moment i just want to lay them out so i can decide where i think they should go so i like to work in threes and i think something like that now on this one i'm not bothering to put the leaves in um i'm just doing the flowers and then this one will sit something like so and the happy birthday again I will pop up in the corner like so and I think that is the way um, I'm going to set it out.
So here's my finished card. I think it looks really, really pretty. I've thoroughly enjoyed making it. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed my tutorial today. Um, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching me and bye for now. So there you go, folks. There's my original card I made. What I'm going to do is I'm sending this one with my adorable uh, sweet box that I made in my previous video. And I just think they look absolutely great together. Um, what I've done on the sweetie box is added a happy birthday in there. And I think they look absolutely stunning.